been a good day. Um, today, we are going to be talking about dough balls. And we're gonna talk about what is a dough ball, where you can decorate with them, and what to put in them as decorations. And then sprinkled throughout this video, you will see some holiday decorating ideas also. So you might be asking, what is a dough ball? Well, um, for many, many years, these dough balls came, uh, were made for people to knead dough inside, and then they could put the dough in the bowl, cover the bowl, and the bowl, the wooden bowl acted as a wonderful insulator to help the dough rise. So generally, this dough bowl was passed down from generation to generation. And in fact, in my video, I have a dough bowl that belongs to someone I'm sharing in the video that is th the third generation um, who has the dough bowl. So it's gonna be so cool. I'll let you know who it is when you get there. But um, there are all kinds of different sizes of dough balls. There are trencher size, which is a long size. Um, there's really large ones down to small ones. And there are also round ones. So in my house, we have three. We have one trencher and we have two round. Um, two of mine are fairly new. One is I bought at Target. It's a round one. And another one I found at a craft show that was handmade by someone. Um, and, it, and then last, I have um, a recent one I found thrifting that looks like it came from Mexico. It has a stamp on it that says Mexico, but it's definitely handcrafted. Now, I have a fourth one in my house right now because my niece let me borrow her large, trencher antique dough bowl that is right here for right now. So we'll, we're gonna show some ideas on decorating with it. So let's get started and I'll show you different ways to decorate. looking at is where to decorate with your dough balls. Um, so let's begin by probably one of the most popular places that people decorate with dough balls, and that is a table centerpiece. So here is an example of where I used lavender, dried lavender, and I simply placed it in my trencher dough ball uh, for an outdoor French country table setting. And all I did was combine it all together like a bouquet, and I tied a beautiful white grow grain ribbon around it. So simple and easy, but just what this table needed for that French country look. Okay, next is a coffee table idea that we did this year. My daughter and I got a burst of energy and started doing some decorating for spring and Easter. And so we pulled my round wooden dough ball from the kitchen onto the coffee table and then put a bunch of uh, beautiful Easter eggs inside the dough ball. So super easy. Take your dough ball and combine it with other elements like these books and this candy mold of a bunny rabbit. Okay, next is an example of the dough ball I just showed you on my coffee table when I had it on my kitchen counter. Now this dough ball stays on my kitchen counter uh, year round and we put fruit in it. Generally, it just has fruit. Okay, so next is this wonderful idea of hanging a dough ball on your wall. And this, I, I wasn't sure how we were gonna hang my niece's really big dough ball behind my rocking chairs in my kitchen. I mean, it just kind of fit the whole look. Next is 
placing a dough ball up against the wall. And this actually, I, I've seen a couple of people do this where they've stacked several dough balls beside each other, overlapping each other on the wall. But um, I love the simplicity of my niece's dough ball next to the fireplace. I just felt like it was so pretty and, um, and just gave that corner a little bit of warmth. Now, another great place to use a dough ball is on a window sill. And if you have a deep enough window sill like I do in your home or in your bathroom like I do, this is a great place to put some washcloths and hand towels or any bottles or things that guests can use when they come over that maybe has shampoo and other stuff in them. It's really pretty to like ensemble it with other things like bathroom jars with cotton balls and q-tips and dried flowers. Okay, so if you have some dough balls and you're looking for a clever place to store them that also acts as a decoration, consider placing them under furniture. Here's an example where we just slid my niece's large dough ball underneath the bench and then we put my cute um, vintage rabbit right next to him. Okay, so another idea of leaning a dough ball is on your fireplace mantle. So when we got that crazy burst of energy at night and started decorating the mantle, uh, my daughter came up with the clever idea of placing our dough ball that I just got at a thrift store up against the mantle. My, my first thought was, um, let's don't breathe before it might fall, but it has not fallen. I've had it up there for about three or four days now, and it seems to be really good and secure. So it's really just leaning up there. So definitely consider using a dough ball on your fireplace mantle. Okay, so here is the example of my family member who is the third generation to be the homeowner of a beautiful dough ball. This is my niece, Valerie, and her uh, mother passed down the dough ball that belonged to her grandmother. So it was her grandmother's and her mother's, and now it's hers. I love how she put it on top of a hutch, and then she put some beautiful dishes in it. I thought, what a great idea. So here's an idea, another idea of putting dough ball on top of a piece of furniture, and then an idea of putting dishes in a dough ball. Okay, so next, consider placing your dough ball on a bookcase. This is another great popular place to put a dough ball. So, um, there are lots of things you can put in dough balls on bookcases, and we're going to go through that in a minute. But here is just a simple ticking fabric pumpkin that I found, I think it was at TJ Maxx a couple of years ago. But all I did was just sit it right down in that cute wooden round dough ball. Okay, so next is consider using your dough balls for outdoor decor. When I was up visiting my friend Mel up in Missouri, we hosted an ice cream social for the family because they had just finished hay season and our reward was to have an old fashioned ice cream social. So Mel, who has these amazing ice cream uh, recipes, pulls out all her recipes, I pull out all my decorations, and I brought my little dough ball to hold all the napkins and the wooden spoons and anything that each person would need. So, consider taking any of your dough balls outside. You can serve with them, you can use them as a decoration, um, but keep in mind that the weather can take a toll on them. So if you do have them outside, make sure they're far enough away from the weather so they're not, so they don't dry out and, um, and split or anything like that. Okay, so we're finished with places to put your dough balls. So now let's switch gears and let's talk about what to put in your dough, dough balls. <laughs> I wish I had another name. If you know another name for dough balls, or if your mother or grandmother called it another name, share with me in the comments. I would love to know, because I have said dough ball a lot <laughs> so far. So now we're gonna talk about what to put in dough balls. 
And we're gonna begin with plants. Plants are a fun and great way to decorate your day balls. Here's an example of a table centerpiece where I used um, olive branches and pumpkins for a fall decoration. Okay, next you can put flowers in your day bowl and you'll see that if you search on Google or search on Pinterest, you'll see a lot of people put flowers in their dough bowls. Um, here's an example that I've already showed you, but a more close up example of the lavender that I placed in a trencher dough bowl on my French country table. Okay, next are books and magazines and when I first started thinking about this, I was like, okay, how can we style a dough bowl with books? So here is an idea where I found these old um, Shakespeare books at the Goodwill. And then on another thrifting trip, and you guys, if you've been hanging around very long, you probably saw this ink well that I picked up at while thrifting. And then last, on top, on a diagonal, I added my grandmother's tiny holy Bible. And that was the element that brought in the Easter for this. Um, because Easter is the celebration of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So the Bible tells that story. And I wanted to have something over here that was a part of the Easter decoration. So... That's how I did books. Next is holiday items, and as you probably have guessed, this is another popular use for day bowls. Um, a lot of anything holiday. One Easter, I had my trencher day bowl on a table with my candy mold bunny in the middle, some Easter grass on the bottom, and then Easter eggs around that. Super, super easy, and you probably have some of these items in your Easter box in the attic or basement or wherever you have them. Here's another idea where I just simply place some jute pumpkins into the trencher um, dough bowl on this piece of furniture I have in my living room. Okay, next are dishes. And as you can probably remember, I shared with you my niece Valerie's beautiful hand-me-down dough bowl um, where she put dishes in it. So that's an idea for that. And then lanterns are a beautiful way to dress up your day bowl. <laughs> um, so here is an idea where I took and placed some lanterns in a day bowl. And then I picked um, wisteria that was growing wild in my neighborhood and just filled it in for a beautiful um, spring table centerpiece. Okay, next are candles. Um, so I love these artificial candles that are battery powered because you can just put them on with a click of a button and if you have any sensitivities to candles this is the way to go because it emits no no nothing in the air nothing so um so basically how i did this dough bowl christmas centerpiece was i filled the bottom with rice then I stuck the candles into the rice and then placed some cypress branches all around that and then threaded some velvet ribbon from one on the down off of one side up and kind of weaved it around and curled it and then trailed it down off of the other side. Fruit is a great use <laughs> for your dough bowl. If you have a dough bowl, new or old, it's a great um, place to store your fruit. Or if you don't eat a lot of fruit, I would say you could buy um, artificial fruit and just fill your dough bowl with the fruit. Next are towels and linens. And as you remember, I used my newest thrifted dough bowl in my windowsill and filled it up with some towels in there. And then we also remember used it on at the ice cream social 
Uh, so it was more of a functional piece there. And then last is this great idea that a friend of mine on Instagram, the Vintage Bread Box shared. And she took this picture at an antique store. I'll put a link in the description to the antique store. Um, but this was so beautiful and it was a bunch of dough balls all stacked one inside of the other. And I thought, how pretty to just take and stack them and let that be the piece of art for your bookcase or anywhere in your home. What a beautiful, beautiful idea. Okay, so that is all the ideas I have on how to decorate with dough balls and what to put in dough balls. And as you remember, I had lots of holiday ideas all mixed in there. Um, if you have an old dough bowl with a fantastic story, please share it with us in the comments below. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.